shakalakas, funny ticklers. Quick update on the whole intake situation on the 690. Now, if you saw the last video where I thought the bike had broken down and the whole intake had come off the engine, and uh, I suspected that it was because of this here Raid Garage auxiliary fuel tank sliding back and you know bumping into the airbox and pulling the whole lot backwards therefore knocking the boot off the cylinder which caused the engine to of course stop i thought i'd show you guys what i've done to hopefully resolve that particular issue now first up i just want to say um i'm not having a crack at uh, the raid garage product it's a great product uh, you know there's just so many variables with this kind of thing um, this may not have been installed correctly or something may have been done wrong over the years i don't know i think uh, this was put in by the very original owner of the bike and it's gone through a couple of owners since then so yeah you don't really know if something's been done wrong or whatever but anyway i thought i'd show you guys what i've done to hopefully resolve it so far it looks like it's holding up i've hit a couple of erosion mounds along this track so far um, the tank isn't fully full but it's probably three quarters at the moment um, so i'll just lift this up Probably not much point pulling this all the way out, but um, so I, I took a couple of photos, but yeah, basically the stock bracket that sits there, I've just added a bit of thin angle alley, aluminium. Yeah, I think it's only two mil thick, so it weighs nothing. Um, and it's just got a short lip on the back of it there, so it should be quite strong. Um, I've used a couple of countersunk bolts there just to bolt that to the other bracket and you know it doesn't hit anything underneath and i don't think you probably wouldn't even need to use countersunk bolts i don't know if you can see there the bottom of that raid tank isn't flat anyway so where those bolts are it really only sits on the middle there um, i did have a bit of tape on there just to protect it i'll have to put another bit there but yeah you get the idea a very quick job it doesn't look great but um it's uh it it seems to be doing the job i think that'll be quite strong it's not like the tank moves around in their heaps. Yeah, it's not going to be hammering against that. So it doesn't need to be super strong. Once it's up against there and that Velcro is holding it down against that, it's not really going to go anywhere, I don't think. So I reckon that will be the go. Hopefully it's a winner. I'll just have to make sure I remember to push it far enough forward. Make sure that it's sitting down on there because, yeah, like obviously, if it popped up and jumped up on top of that bracket, it would still slide back. But as I said, with that Velcro strap holding it down, it shouldn't be able to. And when the seat's on there as well, it, uh, it also holds it down. So, there you go, guys. That's uh, that's my solution for anyone who's wondering. Gee, you can't even lift it, lift that up and slide it back now so i think that's uh that's gonna have fixed it guys now if you've got a 690 um you might be interested in the rest of my jibber jabber in this video i just want to quickly mention that while i had uh you know all the side covers and everything off i checked inside the intake and everything after the whole fiasco from last weekend I uh, just made sure that the uh, intake was clean, no dust had gotten in there and anything, and yeah, it was all, all good. The bike was about 500 k short of 30,000 kilometres on the clock, so I thought I'd do the service, get it out of the way whilst I was in there. Did the valve check, um, exhaust valves were perfectly in spec, 0.13 millimetres or whatever it is. The intakes unfortunately were closed up, so... Um, I had to re-shim those, but um, if you've ever done one of these single overhead cam uh, KDM engines, oh man, they're so freaking easy to do the valves. Like, you don't have to touch that timing chain or that, the timing gear or anything. You don't have to take the camshaft out. All you simply do is take the valve cover off, which is super easy to get to, especially if you've got this raid tank. Whip the tank out. Um, you've got to move a few breather hoses and wires and shit take the uh take the valve cover out which comes out real easy you don't have to wrangle it too much then obviously you know you check your valve clearances super easy to do super easy to get to if you need to reshim any uh, say if you need to reshim the intakes or one of the intakes undo these two five millimeter allen key bolts 
whip them out one's longer than the other use the long one thread it into the uh, rocker arm retaining shaft i think that's what you call it now you thread that into there and then you just pull that um rocker arm shaft out far enough to let the rocker arm come off itself whip that off and there's your valve shims right there grab a magnet whip them out put the new one back in you know you should use assembly lube or whatever i just use a bit of engine oil to uh, coat everything put the rocker arm back in slide the shaft in make sure it's all lined up and uh put the bolts back in i mean you can check the clearances to make sure you've got them right before you put those bolts back in uh, but yeah oh, so easy without having to worry about getting that timing chain lined up with the correct tooth on the sprocket and everything all that bullshit or the chain falling down to the engine or oh, fucking all that shit so much easier I mean, like I've done valve clearances on a few bikes now and this is by far the easiest and uh, what else did I do oh, of course after you're fiddling around in the top of the engine there it's always a good idea to change the oil it's due for an oil change anyway 5000 k so some fresh uh, motor x cross power 10w60 uh, so fresh oil and filters cleaned all the screens as you do the fuel filter was uh, due to be changed out so i did pull out the uh, the fuel pump assembly there and put a new uh, marley kl 97 or whatever they are fuel filter in there the old one was pretty freaking dirty i've got a picture of it here i've seen worse but um yeah it was definitely due for replacement clean the small inline filter that's in the quick release for the uh fuel line and i think that's about it checked all the fluids coolant clutch fluid brake fluid all that stuff she's all um all fresh good to go gave her a wash bit of a polish with the motor x moto shine ms1 that stuff uh, the whole bike still smells like cherries <laughs> it's very cool i like it and uh yeah nice and shiny anyway there you go guys uh just yeah quick update basically uh some of you guys wanted to know what i was going to do about this tank sliding back and knocking that intake off so that's what i've done took me about 15 minutes to angle grind a bit of alley mark some holes drill some holes bolt it all together piece of cake anyway there you have it trendsetters ride safe see you guys on the next video peace